How's it going, everybody? This is Tom with Outside Our Lane. We're here to actually show you something we've been working on this week for VBS. There's my wife back there in the background. So we're going to show you uh, what we've been working on here. We've been doing escape rooms. Our our theme this week for VBS is a detective type theme. So I've been trying to come up with ideas that goes with that in the in our scriptures all week long. Uh, last night we had a Luke 8, 4 through 15, the parable of the sower, sowing in good good ground versus versus rocky ground. We had a, a escape room set up last night, and I didn't get that one on video. I should have, but I, I didn't. But uh, we're going to run you through this one right quick. Tonight, uh, our parable is the parable of the talents. I got it, finally. And the where the ruler gave the three guys, gave one on one talent, coin, gold, what have you. Second one he gave two. Third one he gave five. So okay, do what you will with these. And then he then he leaves, comes back, and then finds out what his what his uh, servants have done with this with the talents that you give them. Well that's what this one's based on tonight. So so let me get turned around here and I'll show you what we got. When we first start we'll have a video playing on the TV here to give them give them some direction. And then we'll turn and direct them through the black curtain. And then tonight's theme is a is a campground. That's the the choice I made for the, the escape room tonight. And I think it looks cool myself. I like it a lot. And Raquel and Anna helped me with this. And Corey got all the trees and stuff and got them ready for me. And then uh, Raquel and Briley come down here and helped me get it all set up here a little bit ago. But uh, kind of run you through the escape room. Here, you can't tell. Let me just turn on the lights. It's gonna lose a little bit of the effect when I turn the lights on, and you're gonna see the imaginary world goes away, but that's all right. Okay, I've got this board set up. I've got it set up in three different sections. I've got a single, four, and then 10. I guess you probably already figured out what, the, if you know the parable of the talents, you already know what's going on. This is the talent of the, of the the guy who buried his talent and didn't do anything with it. And these other two, guy got two and he invested. He got two more to give to his to his master. And these bottom ones are five and he invested and got five more. So he ended up with 10 to give back to his master. You know, the objective is that for the kids to find the rest of this gold and then escape through that door back there. So the first, the first obvious hint they're gonna have is this tent right here. Well, it directs them to that tent. Inside that tent, there's a key hanging on the ceiling. They'll get that key, and they've got to figure out what that key goes to. So they're going to look around, and there's a couple lock boxes. And there's a lock up on the door, and they're going to try all those keys. But they're going to find there's one hidden lock box hidden right there. Well, when they get that lock box, it's got letters in it. It's got an R and an E, I believe. And I've got an F right here. And in that bag in the corner over there, hidden in plain sight, but when they get it, they'll, they'll have to know what to do with it. Anyway, they dump that bag out, and it's got gold in it, and it has got an I in it. So they'll have to figure out that they got they got four letters. Well, if they get them up here and they, they work on it, they'll figure out it spells fire. Then they go to the fire and obviously got all these objects wrapped up. They'll go to unwrapping objects and they'll find this one has got a key in it. And that key goes to that lockbox. And in that lockbox, there are four stones in that lock box that's got numbers in random order to that combination lock. And the other last remaining number is also in that bag of mixed gold over there that they'll have to sort through and find. Then bring it over here and there's clues on those on those stones with numbers on them that leads them one, two, three, four, five. And if they get the order right, 
and where there's there's clues that gets them gets them there they just have to guess and they can open that lock combination lock when they open that combination lock then they can get the key out of there and they can go through that door i love escape rooms this one's kind of kind of simple because it's it's we're dealing with kids from uh kindergarten to fifth grade but you guys would be absolutely blown away with how good they did last night we had a, a bait shop scenario set up where I had this shelves is full of fishing tackle and had stuff everywhere had a fishing dock built right here in the middle with posts and nets hanging on it and then the back back there had a, a tarp with a the air conditioning vent was blowing on it it was waving like water and uh had a crab trap hanging on this side and a cast net on this side and had a, a water bottle here with a hole in it with a key at the bottom of it well the last thing I had to do was get a paddle that was locked on the wall over there and they had, there was a magnet in that crab trap they had to find and swing down it just the rope was just long enough to take that magnet and grab that key in the bottom of that bottle and raise it up to that to a hole that was in the bottle and there was a sign saying you can't touch the, the bottle with your hands anyway that's the this is the second night of doing this and I'm, like i said i absolutely love it uh we're gonna do it two more nights well that got dark didn't it gonna be doing it two more nights uh tomorrow night's gonna be seeing the cabin and it's progressional what they're doing the videos they're following following me i'm i'm in a river i'm going down the river and i'm desperately in trouble because i don't have a paddle and their objective was to get the paddle and save me last night well tonight there's a campground that they've they've found where i've, I've came through lost my way and they've got to they've got to get through that door and help me find find my way and tomorrow night's cabin i ain't got that thing worked completely out yet because i was sitting in here working all that out in my head when i decided to film this so i know i know the basic ideas of everything we're gonna do the next two nights and i work under pressure desk like we just got this done 30 minutes ago and it's 30 minutes or so before we start so that's how i roll unfortunately for my wife and everybody around me but that's how i, that's how I do it all right oh last night we're going to return back to the to the main room where we're our main headquarters and that's just cool looking it's a private investigator's office and the last the last night's thing will be private investigator's office i don't know if i'm going to use the stage that they've already got set up and decorated and just use their props they got or if i'm going to do something in here i haven't haven't quite decided yet but I will between now and then. All right. Appreciate you guys for watching. Get back there so you can see me a little bit before I tell you bye. Appreciate you guys. Love every one of you. And we'll see you on the next one.